With six tonight demands to shut down a school on Long Island because teachers and students are getting sick. The school in Bellport, stand, Bellport stands next to a massive landfill that has been the source of odor complaints for years. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff spoke to parents and teachers. The kids have uh, problems with the breathing. Uh, our eyes are irritated consistently. I have chronic dizziness. We have piercing headaches. We're, I have constantly, we have sinus problems, runny noses, rashes, mysterious rashes. Teachers who work at the Frank P. Long Intermediate School in Bellport cite nearly identical ailments. The school sits in the shadow of the massive Brookhaven Town landfill. Do I want the school shut? No. Should it be shut? Yes. For for years, their odor complaints prompted air testing with no definitive results. Teachers say their numbers add up. And since 1997, we have had 32 people diagnosed with cancer. 11 of them have passed away. They compared that to a similar sized school elsewhere in the district. They don't even have a half of the amount of illnesses that we have in our building. They're pleased to shutter the school, now getting action. Wednesday night, school board members told administrators to start looking into options as to where else classes can be held. A step in the right direction, says this parent, whose 10 year old is also chronically sick. He had unexplained rashes, he had more sinus kind of headaches, dizziness. The town of Brookhaven has long claimed any stench could be coming from somewhere else. A spokesman told us its long history of monitoring and testing will continue. We're confident that the health problems are not a result of our waste management facility. The DEC will launch continual monitoring in coming weeks. I fear for myself. I fear for my colleagues. I fear for my students. The change has to happen now. It can't happen six months from now. We can't walk into this building come September. Teachers say only during summer recess do they breathe easier. In Bellport, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. The South Country School District did not respond to requests for comment. The school has 68 teachers and 700 children.